Welcome to another new video of interesting math problem on our channel Math Solutions for You. Please do like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Three circles each of unit radius touch each other. What is the shaded area in gray enclosed by the three circles? And this kind of problem is pretty common in the geometry section of any standardized tests. And one of the challenges here is the shaded area is not of a recognizable geometric shape, like a square or a rectangle or a circle. So it's the area that's enclosed by three unit circles that touch each other, right? And we don't immediately associate this area uh, with the shape of this area rather with any known or standard geometric shape. And the trick to solving you know, problems like this is to basically you know, construct your figure or, or your area in such a way that you can express the shaded area that you're required to find either as summation or a combination of summation and subtraction or simply you know basically decomposing the figure into some shapes that you can work with so that if you, you know, add or subtract areas you can get to the required area by computing areas which you're familiar with or areas or shapes you're familiar with so that's kind of a you know long way of describing how to approach this problem but but things will become uh, more clear as i lay out what you can do in this particular case to to have shapes that are more familiar to you and then uh, solve the area problem So the first step in this process is to realize that if we connect the centers of these circles, and let's call the centers P, Q, R, if we just connect them, we're going to get a triangle. And this triangle is going to be a special one because each of its sides, it's basically going to be twice the radius of the circle. So the radius of each circle is one. So two times the radius of the circle makes two. So this is going to be a triangle whose each side is two times the radius of the circle is equal to two units of length, right? And that makes this triangle PQR, an equilateral triangle. And now we have our first known shape, right? It's an equilateral triangle, and we know how to calculate the area of the equilateral triangle. And it's worth remembering here that the area of an equilateral triangle of side A is simply root 3 by 4 A square. And here, since A is equal to 2, we can write the area of the equilateral triangle PQR as root over 3 by 4 multiplied by two square, which becomes root three. So this doesn't immediately give us the area that we're looking for, but at least it gives us a start because now we know the area of the triangle, right? If we can find the area of the sectors, the circular sectors, we can probably find the area of the shaded portion by subtracting the area of the sectors from the area of the triangle. Now, since this triangle PQR is equilateral, each of these sector angles is going to be 60 degrees, right? Because we know that the angles of an equilateral triangle are all equal and each is equal to 60 degrees. So now the question that we have to ask is we have the three sectors here and each sector 
is a 60 degree sector, right? So, so what's the area of one such sector? And I've shaded that area that we need to find out. Well, we know that the area of the full circle, which is, you know, really 360 degrees, right, is pi r square, and in this case, r is one, so we have pi multiplied by one square, which essentially equals to pi. So what would be the area of the 60 degree sector? So area of one such sector would be simply 60 degree divided by 360 degree multiplied by pi, which comes to pi by six, right? So that's pretty simple now. And to get to the shaded area, all we need to do is subtract the area of those three 60 degree sectors from the area of the equilateral triangle PQR. And we know that the area of each of those 60 degree sectors is pi by six. So together, altogether, those three sectors, their area would be three times multiplied by pi by six. And we have already calculated the area of the equilateral triangle PQR, so that's root three. So we have the area of the the gray zone, which is the area enclosed within the circles as root three minus three times pi by six, which comes to root over three minus pi by two. So going through all the options, the correct choice in this case would be option C, root over three minus pi by two.